Hey y'all, what's going on? You know what? I'm here to talk. I'm here to talk because I want y'all to know that you're fabulous, you're beautiful, you're everything you want to be. And you may not see it, but you are. I had to learn that. I really did. I had to learn that and I had to learn it quickly. No, you, it's all about psyching yourself out. It's all about making, programming yourself to believe that you are the baddest mamma jamma that ever walked the face of the earth. And can't nobody touch you. Now, I'm not saying it in a conceited sense. I'm saying it in a and a, re, a self-reassurance sense, you know, because all of us, we got our, you know, issues about our bodies or how we feel or how we look and we doubt ourselves. But why well, we got to doubt ourselves? It's not necessary. No, it's not. It is so not necessary. It isn't, you know, it's, you know, women... You know, that are becoming older, some are not dealing with it as well as others, and some are embracing it. When it comes to weight or what somebody feels or thinks about you, that's very hard to deal with. You know what I'm saying? Very hard to deal with. And that was something that is hard to deal with for me. But, gotta psych yourself out. Mm hmm. A lot of us are so, like, self-conscious, you know, we only do the YouTube videos from the head to the, you know, the waist may be higher because we worried about what somebody else is going to say. And you know what? As of today, what's today, right? Let me see. April 22nd, 2013, I don't give a flying, you know what? About who gonna say something about my weight? I really don't care, and I don't think y'all should care either. Because as long as you loving yourself and you feel self confident, you feel good about yourself, and you feel like you are the best thing since sliced motherfucking cheese, then that's what y'all. That's what y'all command it and own it. Command it and own it. Because, you know, like, I'm not overweight. I'm underweight for my height. Okay? I am six, a little bit over six feet. And, um, very, very thin. I don't want to say my weight, but very thin. And you have people who... Now, mind you, when I look in the mirror, I don't see for the, I'm not going to say that, for the longest. When I looked in the mirror, I did not see what other people saw. When I put my clothes on, I thought I looked good. But then there's always got to be somebody who try to knock you off your pedestal. Don't let them do it. Prime example. I love to go roller skating. Roller skating has been like very, it's a part of family, like history. You know, it was all about roller skating. And, you know, I roller skate, my parents roller skated, um, my kids roller skate. You know, the joke is, is in my house or well, in my family is if you don't roller skate by five, something wrong with you. So. But I was at the roller skating rink with my children, and my husband happened to be there. And I love my baby. Yes, I do. He is amazing. Sometimes. <laughs> and um, I was feeling great. I was feeling great about myself. You know what I'm saying? But you sometimes, you know, when you interact or you see other women who hate themselves, they want to find a reason to hate you. It was one of those situations. Well, anyway... You know, it was my own business, me and my daughter. We roller skating. And 
you got the cackling hens off to the side. And they, you, sometimes you got to watch what you're saying because you never know who's listening. Well, my husband, he was watching us skate because he don't skate. So, me and my daughter were roller skating and cackling hens started in on me. They couldn't say it to me, but they made sure that when I walked far enough away or went about my business, that's when they wanted to talk. Oh my gosh, she's so skinny. She's this, she's that, blah, blah, blah. And my husband was like, excuse me, excuse me. And he was not happy. He was not happy. Like, do you not have any anything else to do than talk about somebody else? do you beauty comes in all different shapes sizes and colors it does what magazines or what the world tells you you're supposed to look like it's not what you're supposed to look like because all these Kim Kardashians and these supermodels and stuff like that guess what they got just as much damn self-doubt and Lack of self-confidence as every other woman, no matter the size. If you're smaller, you want to be bigger. If you're bigger, you want to be smaller. If you're taller, you want to be shorter. If you're shorter, you want to be taller. It's universal. So that person that you're looking at on TV and idolize and make you sick to your stomach be like, that bitch, she has the same issues. She has the same issues. And self-doubt than you or anybody else. And that's the problem with the world today. Who who the hell set the standard for what is beautiful and what is not? Who? I want to know. Who? Who can tell another person that they're not fabulous? Who? Nobody. Can nobody take that from you? When you feel it inside, nobody take that from you. There's always somebody for everybody in this world. No matter if you feel that you're not beautiful enough or, you know, you're not freaking one of these celebrities or whatever. Child, please. Mm -mm. It took me a long time to realize as long as my husband loves me and he likes what he has, that's all that really matters. As long as I look good for him, that's all that really matters. And it's not the men who have the issues. It's the women. Because, I mean, men are men. They have their preferences. Some men like big voluptuous women some like thick boned women some like very small women it's all about a preference but it just seems like women are competing with women women are hating on other women because secretly that's what they want to be the other women so what they do they hate because they hate themselves and you can never hate yourself that's the worst thing you do is hate yourself because when you hate yourself, then you start hating everybody else because you, you hate yourself that much. A woman who loves themselves, they don't hate on the next one. Mm -mm. Hate on them for what? If you're happy with yourself, you don't hate on anybody. Mm -mm. That's why I understand that. I hate, I hate how society does this. And even with the young girls. Oh, I... I'm overweight or or either girls say I have no breast or people are running out and getting all these surgeries and doing all this stuff for their bodies. Now sometimes if you have to do these surgeries, it's understandable because when it comes to people's health and quality quality of life and things like that, that's important. But some people do some deliberate ass backwards bullshit like I was watching and they were talking about people tattooing and reconfiguring your nipples well, then, who, 
who does that? Who would waste money on that? Really? Really? Or, you know, the whole butt thing. <laughs> Why? Now, yeah, I have issues, you know what I'm saying, about my breasts. Because at one time, my breasts were beautiful. You couldn't tell me nothing about my breasts. They were perky. You know, when you're young and you don't have no kids or you, you just got one maybe, your breasts stay the same. And they stay high and perky and beautiful and, you know, you can't tell you nothing. Please, my the way I dress is extremely limited. I don't wear anything with my back out because then I can't wear a bra. I can't wear. I won't wear anything that I can't wear a bra with. Plain and simple. Johnny ain't doing it because after having all of my children, my breast said Shoop! all the volume, all the blah blah boom, and it just looked like somebody took a pin to it and deflated them bad boys you know what I'm saying I'd be laughing because I, I call them orangutan titties and all my girlfriends be ha 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 girl you're so stupid and I want to get them fixed I really do I want to have my breast back and things like that are you know are understandable you know what I'm saying surgeries you know, gastric sleeve or butt, you know, stuff like that. When you're doing these things, that's why they make you do a lot of, um, you know, talk to therapists and stuff like that. So you have a better understanding of why you're doing it or if you're a candidate to even do it. You know what I'm saying? Because you have to be right in here. That's why you got all these sickos walking around here like this and then trying to go get something else fixed. That's because they are dealing with their own personal demons. They don't feel good about themselves. And guess who's doing it? The people that we're supposed to image and look like. Heck no. No, 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 no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You got to be comfortable and confident with you as you are. First, before you go and do these things to yourself. Because you'll be looking for perfection forever. Which will lead to millions of dollars in surgery. And you looking more fucked up than you did before you started. You see what I'm saying? Like, who the hell is it to... Who... It's long... Who can tell you that you're not fabulous? Can't nobody tell you that you're not fabulous? Can't nobody tell you that you're not the sexiest thing that walked the face of the earth? Can't nobody tell you that you're not beautiful? Can't nobody tell you that you're weight, that you're overweight, or that you're underweight? Can't nobody take your happiness if you're not letting them do it? can't it's that self-confidence it's that self-confidence it's that self-confidence that you got to feel you you gotta feel it you gotta dig down deep you have to have that relationship with your inner self and that relationship with God because at the end of the day he's the only man that matters Now, if he comes to you and you're sick, you have diabetes, you know, your quality of life medically is not right, you know, then, and you feel like you want to have surgeries or whatever to, you know, better yourself, to make you feel better physically. You know, not just mentally, but physically. Hey, then you got to do what you got to do. But sometimes people get that confused. They do. And they're doing it to please other people. Or they're doing it because they want to look like the next person. Mm -mm. 
You're fabulous. You're lovely. You're beautiful. I tell myself that every day when I look in the mirror. And can't nobody take that from me. And can't nobody take that from you. Love you guys. Bye.